G'day folks, Richard Burdess from Datacom Christchurch, New Zealand with a quick Power Apps tip. Uh, this one's for SharePoint and images and presenting images from uh, multiple column HTML type rich text columns in your Power Apps. If you've ever tried to do that, you'll find you might hit a few issues along the way and you can put the images inside an HTML text control inside your Power App but it still may not work, um, especially if it's coming from SharePoint. Uh, there are some guides out there that will, the old, I think the old method, you could used to do double quotes for around your images, but that's not gonna work anymore. Um, based on Power Apps updates and uh, browser updates, um, it's gonna basically come up with an unknown if you do double quotes for your images now, but you can just use the regular HTML control to do it. Um, if any of this isn't making any sense, I'll show you what we need to talk about. So we've got, a task list. This task list presents into a Power App. So we've got images in a table in this Power App. This is just a, a description field, task list, uh, multi lines of text, uh, rich text to support images and tables. Okay, you put that into your Power App. It won't look like that the first time you do it. What you'll get is that. So the images won't render. If they are images that exist outside of SharePoint, just on the web general public images, they should render through nicely. But these images have been uploaded to the site assets library and the SharePoint site. So kind of secure stuff inside your tenant, right? Um, and they just won't show up. And the reason for that, if I play this and just inspect it by the power of Chrome, you'll see the reason those images don't show up is because we've got a slash site, so we don't have the tenant name in there. So even though Power Apps is in your tenant, it's not really in your tenant. It's in Azure, right? So it doesn't necessarily know that it should be looking at your tenant sites. So don't quite know why that doesn't work, but it's a simple fix for this. Let's nuke that out, and we'll jump out of that, jump into day three, the score one, and show you the fix which is up there in the solution sort of formula bar up the top. All you need to do is the substitute control in Power Apps. It's this item body, which is the body of your text. And then I've done slash site slash, uh, just in case somebody puts sites in the task um, item, because they may do. So try and come up with something that's gonna be reasonably unique to catch those images. Um, and then all you then have to worry about is basically the, the, the tenant location and then sites and then your images work. Um, just to show you again, if that doesn't work, oh, Betty, who's Betty? See, that one, it's not gonna work. And I am logged into SharePoint, um, so it's not necessarily an authentication issue. Um, it's basically, it just can't work out the URL. Push that back in, and we've got the images back. So yeah, there's the gang. Um, Dylan and Dutch, or Billy, there they are. You can bring them into your Power Apps now, because um, I know how you want to. Um, but you can do that with, yeah, substitute, substitute. Super easy, nice easy fix. Good luck with your Power thing. I hope this helps out.